Hello, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over an exercise where we're going to use the derivative of a function uh, to define the slope of the tangent line to the curve. Obviously, we're going to use the limit definition of the derivative. Let me remind you the relationship between the slope and the derivative of a function. So if you have the function f, uh, and if you're talking about the derivative of the function at point x equals c, this is the limit definition of the derivative at point C. And that is a meaning, as I said, this is the slope of the tangent line to the curve at the point C and F of C. So in this exercise, uh, we're looking for the tangent line to the curve parallel to the line X plus two Y uh, plus seven. So the point is not provided to us. Probably we're gonna find that point along the way. But let's first find the slope of this line here. So let me put this in the slope intercept form. Negative one half x minus uh, seven halves. And this implies that uh, the slope of this line is negative one half. So you want the slope to be negative one half and we were looking for the point C. All right, let me just uh, write this expression real quick here. So f of c plus delta x equals one over radical c plus delta x minus one minus f of radical c minus one. So we have two rational expressions at the top and this is all divided by delta x. Well, first thing is first, we're gonna simplify the top by finding a common denominator. For this one, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be multiplying top and the bottom by uh, radical C minus one. And for this one, it's gonna be multiplying top and the bottom by radical C plus delta X minus one. All right, after finding the common denominator, this is the one rational expression that we get to. And to simplify this further, we should multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the top expression because it's the difference of uh, two expressions here. All right, now we're gonna multiply top by the top here and bottom by the bottom here. All right, the top is simplified to this and the bottom, I just kept it as the product of these terms. So as you see, there's C minus one here, there's C minus one here. So this C minus one is gonna cancel this C minus one because of this minus sign here. So what I'm left with at the top is negative delta X and at the bottom delta X times this whole expression. So the good news is that since I'm left with negative delta X at the top, I can divide out the top and the bottom by delta X to get to, and at this moment, uh, we can pass the limit. We can try to pass the limit. Um, as delta X approaches uh, zero, so this term is gonna be uh, C plus zero minus one. So it's C minus one in square root. And there's the, uh, the same version of that here. And then what do we have here? R radical C minus one. Let me just write it here. C minus one, radical C minus one, radical C minus one. That is C minus one times what? Um, radical C minus one plus radical C minus one. So two, radical C minus one. So these are same expressions. So C minus one to the power of one, C minus one to the power of one half. So I can write this expression as negative one over two, C minus one to the power of uh, three halves. And this quantity is the slope of the tangent line to the curve, uh, to the curve one over radical X minus one at point C. So this is the slope. And I wanted this slope to be equal to uh, negative one uh, over two, which was the slope of this line. And I'm gonna set this equal to negative one half and solve this expression for C. All right, so we can do the uh, cross products here. I simplified this expression to two times C minus one to the power of three halves equals two, but twos cancel as well. So everything is reduced to C minus one equals one. And you can see this by taking the two thirds power of both sides of the equation, since I have one left here, uh, that is gonna be one. And then the two thirds power of this is gonna be C minus one. 
So C turns out to be two. Uh, so the point that I was after uh, is, uh, is C equals two. So at that point, uh, the slope of the tangent line is gonna be negative one. And here are the graphs of the function at its tangent line uh, at the point X equals two. So the function was uh, one over radical X minus one. That's the blue curve. And then the red one is the tangent line to the curve at that point. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in another video. Bye.